We're back with another junk food wine pairing. Pairing an Aussie lunch classic, showcasing Australia's multiculturalism. Vietnamese, banh mi, cold roll. Let's get snacking. Another, another junk food pairing. Yep. Uh, absolute lunchtime classic, I think, in Australia. Big time. Like, you Probably. know, and it's not like a unique thing to our country. This is like an international thing. And it also show, it showcases our multiculturalism and also the multi multiculturalism of this particular food. Fun me. Barn me. Absolute barn me. Barn me. Uh, and then we've got a couple of other sides to it. Uh, we've got the prawn cold roll mm -hmm. uh, for your, our gluten free comrades. Uh, and then we've also got the tofu, which is for our vegetarian comrades. Probably vegan as well. Vegan as well. Uh, yeah. And we've got some dipping sauce, all that kind of thing. Uh, this is hands down one of my all time favorite oh, it's lunches. An absolute go to. Has Barmy been around for a, like, I don't know how long like the food's been around for, but in Australia though, really I've only picked it up in the last six, seven years. Yeah, look, I think it's, I don't know if, I'm sure that things like this, because Barn Me seemed to blew up in the last five years, me and yeah. my friends, and I'm convinced yeah. it's somehow we're being controlled by the Facebook algorithm. Because like, five years ago, I stumbled across a Facebook page, which was the uh, Vietnamese Meat Roll Appreciation Society yeah. of South Australia. Yeah, absolutely. And ever, thank you. But hop on there, and all of a sudden people are writing these super in-depth reviews, talking about the yeah. best places in Adelaide to get them from. There, there's a few reasons why this kind of jumped off. Like, first of all, there's a high density of these kind of shops across the entire state, across the country. There's mm. like most, mostly in your kind of like, you look at uh, South Australia going to places like Prospect or uh, like Seaford and stuff like that, where there is a lot of these kind of com like Vietnamese communities and there's a lot of these shops. It's a really cool cultural touch point. And also I think like it's even external stuff like, um, like n noting like someone like Anthony Bourdain like celebrated this kind of food like more than anybody else did on like yeah. a travel show and everyone's like that's kind of sick and then found out that it was like literally in their backyard so everyone's kind of gravitated towards this food. What a brand though. All right, let's go. Let's just All right, place. Mm. Mm -hmm. They've seasoned this pork really bloody well. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, that amber wine with it is a pretty good starting point. I've just topped in there. It's pretty interesting. See, this is one of those really interesting wines where, oh, well, foods. I'm not too sure that, say, something like this leaner white mm -hmm. is going to really shine because it kind of looks a little bit boring. It's almost like the food is food needs, it really is craving some kind of complex mash to it. Mm. Now, the pet nap works really well with the texture, mm. but not the flavour. Mm -hmm. Like, it's almost there. It's just there's a bit more spice and um, additional, like, herbs and spices. And, pickle and all that kind of thing to make it truly match. I get, I agree. Not mm. mad at it, but it just really just falls away. How you go with that amber? That's bonkers. Ah, I'll That's enjoy. an all, that is an all out experience. So even this like, this oaky, like full, full body texture white, this even takes it to the cleanest. That's got a lot of pressure with power and weight, but it, this just got so much flavor, it just, just absolutely deep. crushes it, yeah. The light red's not bad, in my mm. opinion. I'm not super optimistic about how this big road's gonna go, but we'll see. I'm we're gonna do I'm it. Not looking at yeah, it. I'm not even it. looking at it, but we're gonna do it for scientific accuracy. Yeah, look. Ow. Not all experiments are winners, and that might be a failed one. I'm not sure that you're gonna go big bodied red with your bar me at a Saturday lunchtime. For me, I'm having the wow. uh, amber with it. That's I think mm -hmm. my choice. I think it does the more interesting thing. No so, shadow, no, no shadow of doubt for me. If there was even the slight, because a lot of these can be super spicy. Mm -hmm. One of those regular things that they ask you for is like. Chili or no chili? Good chilies. Yeah. And those chilies are powerful, you know, they make oh. your, your, your lips feel it. Yeah. Your face is melting off. And, and it's one of those things, it's never equally evenly distributed. There's like, oh, it's fine, <laughs> fine, fine, <laughs> fine. And you have one little bit, it's like, it's like nuclear. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Um, and I think in that instance, there would be a clear dividing line between these two ones. Right? Okay. Be, That's the way out that. It's, it's a no brainer. With your barn maze, yeah, for sure. Orange wine and barn me. Yeah. All right, sorry about time. Next up, we're gonna move, again, we're doing some sides today. The Vietnamese sides, yeah. Yeah, let's roll with sides because will we find consensus amongst the wines for the cold roll? Yeah, I love the cold roll. It makes yeah. you feel good when you have cold roll. Yeah, yeah. It's not quite as carb heavy. Mm. Yeah, the, the, the bun meat tends to hurt you a lot of the time. The seafood nature of these cold rolls has me more leaning towards the uh, lighter white side mm. of the equation. We're very interested to find out. And it will be interesting to see the influence of the uh, dipping sauce. Oh, big time. Mm. First of all, delicious. 
really delicate. This this is a aromatic world away from the bar meat. Oh, completely different. You know, I'm just gonna say it. Yeah. I'm not sure that that amber wine's gonna work here. No, I don't think it is. I think it might be a bit heavy. I'll like tell, you, much. I'll tell you what, the, the, this this is this is a big difference. Where we're seeing the showcasing of the place we have gone to get our cold rolls. Where's the Vietnamese mint? Where's the basil? Oh, yeah, Where's yeah, yeah, all yeah. of the um, aromatic herbs? There's this not is literally just it's it's, it's rice it's, noodles. It's protein, rice noodle, and lettuce. And mm. lettuce. So, mm, I, I I I honestly think of this light little white is the only real way to go. I have a, the pet nut. Did something for me. Mm. It's worth giving it a shot. I think you're. I think you're leveling it's up. It's the pet nut. I think, I think you're leveling up. Man. I think that is a little bit prawns. Little bit with that sauce, yeah, well. it's mm. the, the dipping sauce works really well. The saltiness of this. Uh, now, nah, yeah, I reckon that's cool. Bun me, orange wine, uh, cold roll, cold rolls, pet nut. Yeah, big time. Dream, jeez, dream. That's a good time. Good stuff. All right, well that was myth busted. Myth busted. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get, we're gonna get soon. Okay. All right, All right guys. cool. And for, and for now, we're signing. Off.